Hi, I'm James O'Keefe with Project Veritas. One of the issues we care deeply about is education, not just on the college campuses, but also in the public schools, exposing corruption, exposing cronyism. Well, it turns out today, front page of the Westchester Journal News, our story has led to school officials being charged. These were officials who wanted to cover up child abuse, telling us how to do it. And I'm gonna play a small clip from a few months ago. Project Veritas had been tipped off that union officials would go to extraordinary lengths to protect one of their members. But what we heard when we went undercover into union offices across the country still shocked us. If there was, you know, that, that if racial slur was, was used and simultaneous well, to what, if, if there was violence. I would, I would assume they would want you to go for um, uh, racial training. Okay. Uh, I can't think of the name of it now. By your training. You, yeah, throw us under the bus. You're okay with that? Yeah, what the hell? You're just going to smile and suck it up and you don't talk to anybody. I don't care if it's your best friend. I don't care if the phys ed teacher you okay. went to high school with. You don't fucking tell anybody anything. All right. And if I have to hit you in the back of the hit him in the back of the head, what if he does? You don't okay. tell anybody. Now, this story led to the inspector general's office, released a report, said we edited nothing out of context and said that these people did many things wrong. So even in New York, even in Westchester County, uh, some of these government officials, they have to fall on their sword and do the right thing. What we're looking at is uh, any fraud, abuse, or corruption that may have occurred. This is standard operating procedure? Well, you know what? It better damn well change. It took more than five months, but these city officials actually did the right thing. And I want you to stay tuned because in the coming weeks, we have a few more of these coming out and you're not gonna believe your eyes.